Hey guys, how are you? Um, happy grand final day. I wanted to just bring in a little concept or chat to you about consistency. And that's great, you hear a lot about that, but it often makes people feel bad. It makes people feel like they're not good enough, they're never gonna get there, they can't stick to it. Because consistency isn't great if it's not something you wanna do. If it's something you're trying to force yourself to do and you're struggling with that, or you, you know, it's making you miserable, then what is the point of consistency? Like it's, um, it can be quite a negative thing if you are forcing yourself to do something that you don't want to do, right? And especially when it comes to diets and exercise, stuff like that. So you're better off to have self-compassion, patience, and be really flexible, right? So that means that you would change on any given day, you might change the thing that you're going to do, or it might be that you change your mind, right? It's okay to change your mind. It might be that you tweak something that you can improve or change or make it easier that day or um, like consistency is, is up and down. It doesn't mean, it means you're showing up for yourself. It doesn't mean you're showing up at 100% every day because who would do that? Why, why would we do that? And it's impossible anyway. <laughs> like 100% um, might have been okay when you're in your 20s and you didn't have... Um, you know, family to look after and juggling home and work and all the rest of it and, and aging bodies and aging parents and all the things, right? We didn't have stress when we were doing 100%. And even then that's ridiculous, right? It's called balance. So we have to have a balance. Um, so I just wanted to remind you that don't pay out on yourself. Don't think you have to be consistent. It's bullshit, right? It's just another BS thing that you're trying to stick to. So if you're pushing shit uphill, um, trying to flog a dead horse, they're both Aussie slangs, um, stop, stop doing that and change, change and try something else, right? Because it's not about being consistent for the sake of it. You want it to flow, you want to be naturally consistent. You want to do the things because you desire them, you want to do them, they feel good, right? That is the point of doing it, not to tick a box. So if you're trying to tick boxes and feeling like you can't manage and, you, and you're not making it and you're not achieving what you want to achieve, do it naturally, consistently naturally because it just flows, because it feels good, because it all fits into place um, and you'll know when it's right because it's step by step will just click into place. Like every little step you take forward, it feels good, right? That's your measuring stick not whether you tick the box to be consistent or not and then feel miserable because you can't be consistent who gives a shit, right so i want you to rethink that whole concept because that is another what i would call bs culture thing when it comes to health and fitness right we've been sold this this idea that it has to be 110 percent has to be all the time has to be it doesn't you just want to be improving at your own pace over time, you're always going to be improving, always moving forward, doing it gently, doing it easily, doing it in a way that feels good, not forcing and pushing and smashing or going without restricting all that. You know how much I hate all that. So I hope that helps, right? I hope that clears up an idea of rethinking what consistency actually is and what it means to you because it doesn't mean what people, what other people tell you it means, right? If that makes sense. So if you're following something you've been following for a long time or this whole concept that it's kind of like bro marketing in the health industry, I'll call it that, right? Um, consistency for bro marketers, yeah? Like push, 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 push. No, it doesn't work like that. That, that That's no good. You know, no guts, no glory, forget it. That is not a thing. It's, it's not helpful to anybody anybody right so don't follow other people follow yourself follow follow what feels feels good for you that moment that day right everyone's got their shit going down and going stuff going on around them no one knows what you're going through or how you're feeling you have to follow yourself so it's one thing to um so i guess the only other thing to be aware of is knowing when to nudge yourself and give yourself that little push to get things done and when to stop and hold and rest right and have and just rethink the whole thing uh, reassess change tweak so you know you, you you've got to kind of learn that yourself you've got to know yourself right and if you don't know you that's what i would 
I would say connect in, tune in, work on self-compassion, work on connecting back into you. What do you want? What do you desire? What do you need at that moment in time? That's the only guidance, right? There's no other guidance. Where do you, you can push through, but that's your ego, right? That's your ego and your brain going, get on with it. You know, you're lazy, you're um, useless or whatever. That's just your ego, right? But if you tune back into you as to what you want, that is your guidance. So if I can help you in any way, let me know. Um, I've got intro calls at 60 minutes and we plan how you're going to go forward. But learning how to know when to push yourself and when not to push yourself. And I, what I see is there's only a, one button for most people and it's just go. <laughs> there's no other button that goes, hey, hang on a minute, I don't feel good today or this doesn't feel right, I don't think I should do this or I don't even like this. Why am I doing this? There's no... I want more buttons where you can go, oh, hang on a minute, I'm going to pause this for a minute and rethink it, tweak it, change it, try something different. Um, I'm not going to just keep, keep hitting the go button, right? You need more than one speed. All right, so I'll let you go. Have a beautiful day. And if that helps someone, I hope it does. Okay, bye.